most people in America will say that they have a version of faith. They will say they're Christian, they'll say they're not religious, but they have a spirituality. They'll say they believe in God, but they don't actually go to church or synagogue, and they openly to barely know about Kabbalah. What a shame for them. True Prosperity is an amazing book by the Kabbalah Center folk. But here's the deal. In the pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness, you need to find some life balance. Everybody's always talking about that on television and in works around the world and in the newscasts and in the, the folks that we listen to in the morning or at night who talk about this. The talk show hosts, they talk about this. I believe there are eight infinite areas of life balance and I've expanded my areas based on the several times I've heard about life balance areas and I didn't feel like they're fully flourishing. So mine are eight. Infinite, of course, is the number eight. Turn on its side, which is why I chose eight. But here's the reality. Faith is the foundation to everything. Faith is what keeps us going, and faith and hope is what we are looking for today. There's a lot of challenges going on today with COVID. There's a lot of challenges going on around with the fact that it's just that time of year for the common cold, the common flu. And we have to be careful about that because anything we touch can pick those things up. And if you're concerned about being not well today, then that's a problem. But your faith can get you through. In my case of love and loss and liberty, I believe faith is everything. Faith is the first fundamental rung of life balance. When you have a faith, when you have a life philosophy, when you have a faith practice, you're a lot more healthy than those who do not believe in anything greater than themselves. Selfishness rests in someone who thinks that they are a personal God in the world meaning they don't believe in God, they think that people are gods. They think that they are God. They think they are Lord over other people. And that is not something they actually articulate. It's something that they prove with their personal practice around other people. Faith is something that we must have in something that's a deity, something that's a higher being, something that has more power. And I can tell you, the Lord above all things knows where all his creatures are. And he assigns legions of angels to every child that enters the world. But it is our job as people and human beings to acknowledge the Lord and ask for his assistance to authorize our angels to assist us in this world. A pendulum faith practice allows you, if the Lord approves, to access your angels for answering questions on all sorts of things even as simple as should you buy a car that is red or blue. I love using a pendulum to purchase gifts for other people. When God leads me to a store, he literally leads me to a piece of clothing that is exactly right for me. So can you can imagine how angry God might be to find out that someone has been resizing the clothing that he's led me to, or stealing the beautiful pair of jeans that I got for four dollars that probably are cost normally four hundred. But I got them in a Goodwill store, and someone has stolen those from me. They have angel wings all down the back, and I have photographs of those things. You see, God does everything for everyone's good who submits to the Lord in love and light. If you don't understand that, that's on your life. You have the opportunity to pursue God. You have the opportunity for freedom of religion in America. But there's always going to be someone, an usurper, an assailant, an aggressor, who is going to try to interfere with your pursuit of God.